Hello guys, this is uh, Dr. Palanepan Manikam. When I sent this video to my friend Saravana Kumar, he was like, I know what you're going to talk about. Seeing the title of the video, you're going to say, don't eat Macron, I can never do that. I was like, hey, that is not Macron, ra. it is Omicron. Let's see whether Omicron is a clown piece or a masterpiece of Corona. Let's dive deep into it. So we have been saying in the channel for the last one year that if we do not vaccinate the entire world up to 70 percentage, virus will definitely mutate and that is what is happening now. Initially, we thought coronavirus is a dummy piece, but now it is moving its chess pieces so intelligently to form this Omicron for a threat as a checkmate for humans. Scientists from South Africa were working so hard to find out the genomic sequences of every COVID positive patient and found out this variant on November 9th. But all they get is a travel ban to South Africa as a punishment. But the truth is this variant has been going around for the last two months and they just identified on November 9th. We have been seeing all news headlines that oh the first case has been reported in India today. But the point of the matter is it has been already there for the last two months. We are all saying Omicron has Indi Tolikachigalil Mudan Murayaga. But Omicron is saying Onga Podaneke Pinadanarke over over. So why everybody is talking about Omicron is there are 50 mutations on the spike protein surrounding the virus and it affects the most important part of the spike protein where it penetrates the cell. And this makes the virus transmit the infection five times faster than the Delta variant similar to the fake news forwarded by uncles and aunties in WhatsApp groups. So though the transmission is faster, based on the preliminary reports, we know that it can cause hospitalization in unvaccinated people, but vaccinated people are doing okay so far. So since this is a brand new variant, we just don't know much about it, but we can make an educated guess that in South Africa, the number of cases have gone up almost double every day, but the rate of death and the rate of hospitalization have not gone up significantly, which means that the transmission is faster, but the impact might not be as bad as what it was before. Omicron is like the single movie series where the pace of the movie is gone up but the quality has gone down. So since we don't have enough data let's look into the positives and negatives of this variant. The biggest positive is that so far based on the preliminary data vaccinated people are doing okay. It can be easily detected on the test that is available. Most of the treatments what we have if they get infection is supposed to work in this variant as well. The biggest negative point of this variant is that it is causing hospitalization even in the preliminary data that we have in unvaccinated people. If that is the case, the increased death rate is also expected down the road if this keeps happening and that is the only concern that I really have about this variant. If you are still holding the flag of I am not going to get the vaccine, there will be lots of Omicrons. I am repeating this again. We are in this situation because of the unvaccinated group of population. This is almost like the movie Titanic where all the vaccinated people are like the jacks trying to save everybody including the unvaccinated people like Rose. We are sinking down and Rose is floating on the log of wood thinking that they are escaped but little do they know that variants are coming in a different iceberg that they will definitely come down as well. So if you guys don't get vaccinated we are going to drown together so please get vaccinated for me. Say Virgala! Ningal Say Virgala! So what about the vaccinated group? I can guarantee you that vaccine will definitely protect you in some way or the other. We just don't know how much because vaccine produces the same kind of antibodies against the spike protein with which the virus is trying to enter into the cell. Though this variant has 50 different kinds of mutation around the spike protein, vaccine should confer some kind of protection because there are antibodies against the same spike protein because the subject is the same. Imagine vaccine is the scientific calculator that you are bringing to the MAX 1 exam which is coronavirus but to your dismay it turns out to be MAX 2 exam which is the Omicron variant but still the scientific calculator should work somehow. Though it might not help us to completely solve the complex problems like integers, calculus, stones, oh Sorry, the medicine, huh? integers, calculus, all these complex equations. But at least we can pass the exam using scientific calculator. At least you can write the answers on the back of the scientific calculator and then exchange it. So since we know that vaccines are definitely going to work for this virus, it is better to boost up the protection by taking a booster dose because we know that efficacy of any vaccine is going to wean down, especially after six months of duration. So I'm going to urge all my audience to take booster doses as soon as possible and I'm going to talk about multiple scenarios. Scenario number one, you take Pfizer or Moderna six months ago, that, that is pretty simple. You take a booster dose with the same vaccine now, it is available for all patients 
patients more than 18 years of age. Please check out the side effects that I got after my booster dose and the link is in the description. So if you got Johnson & Johnson vaccine two months ago, you were eligible for one more booster shot with Johnson & Johnson. That is straightforward as well. So based on the research done, mRNA vaccines like Pfizer and Moderna gives you the highest level of antibodies after the booster uh, shot. But the problem is we don't have enough availability of Pfizer or Moderna throughout the world. So recent studies suggest that you could alternate their vaccine for the booster dose. For example, if you got Pfizer or Moderna in US and you went to India, it is okay to take one booster dose with Covishield or Covaxin. If it is the other way around, if you are in India and you got Covishield or Covaxin or Sputnik and you have access to Pfizer or Moderna, you can get the dose of Pfizer or Moderna as a booster shot. The biggest debate is if you are completely vaccinated with Covishield and two doses of Covaxin, the question is whether you should get a booster or not. So far, the Indian government have not authorized a booster shot for Covaxin or Covishield because of two reasons. Number one, there have not been increasing COVID cases recently in the past few months. And number two, only 32% of Indian patient population have been vaccinated with two doses. So the government is focusing on vaccinating the second dose and rather than focusing on the booster dose at this time. So though they have a point with Omicron around and people are forgetting about COVID already, I think we should rethink this strategy. So I have talked to many infectious disease experts and everybody agrees that it is very reasonable to give one more dose of Covishield if you are vaccinated with Covishield before or one more dose of Covaxin if you have received two doses of Covaxin before to protect against this Omicron variant to increase the level of antibodies in the body. There is a recent scientific research paper where they took 3000 participants who got two doses of Covishield or AstraZeneca in Britain and then they gave one more dose of Covishield six months later and they found a significant amount of increased level of antibodies in the body which is a very very good sign. Though there is no scientific data to confirm this and then recommend it to everybody, I think it is reasonable to make an educated guess and my concern is by the time the data is out, maybe we might be missing some significant amount of valuable time. So this is what I would recommend and this is what I would do for my family member and you guys know that I treat you guys as my family as well. So here are my recommendations. If you are completely vaccinated with Covishield or Covaxin and if you don't have access to any Pfizer or Moderna vaccine, and if you have access to a third dose or a booster dose of Covishield or Covaxin, I think it is absolutely okay to proceed and get vaccinated with a third dose, especially for patients more than 60 years of age or if they have multiple medical problems like diabetes, hypertension and comorbidities. This is what I'm planning to do for my family members as well and I'm willing to take the risk because there is very little harm and the benefit can be very significant given this Omicron variant around. Using this as an opportunity, my friend Saravna Kumar wants to come to US to take the booster shot with Pfizer or Moderna. I said for that you need to take Visa first da, and for that he is saying I will take that vaccination as well. So overall don't panic, don't be anxious, just be alert. You know if you are vaccinated try to get the booster, if you are not vaccinated please get the vaccine. Moving forward all these news headlines are going to say oh Omicron is in Karnataka, Omicron is in Tamil Nadu, Omicron is in Madurai, Omicron is in Dubai Kurkusandh. It's already there, all right? So there is no point in screaming news media. Okay, so I can reassure that if you are vaccinated and if you get your booster dose, this Omicron is going to be Kekran, Mekran company employee only. So until we know more about this, please continue masking, social distancing, try to avoid travel as much as possible. Do the exact same thing that you've been doing for the last 18 months. This is not new to us anymore. So once we know more about this variant, I will conduct a live session to answer all your questions and concerns. Until then, stay safe, get vaccinated. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.